Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I want to go through all these beautiful flowers here. These are ones that my family got me for Mother's Day. So excited, we went to a couple different greenhouses, garden centers, and I just picked out a bunch of plants. I wanted way more, <laughs> but this is a good start, especially since we haven't had our last frost date. Um, so I can't actually plant any of these out into the ground yet. Well, the pansies I probably could. Oh, <laughs> get down, thank you. The pansies I probably could, um, but everything else I am going to wait until the last frost date. But I just kind of wanted to do a Mother's Day plant haul, show you what I have. This is only a part of it. I have some shade loving perennials as well around the corner in the shade that I will show you. And um, yeah, I just want to get started. I have some pansies right here. It's just a beautiful yellow blue mix, which you can't go wrong with pansies in the spring. They're like the spring flower. I have Picati dianthus and oh, I love this. So there's a couple different types of dianthus. This is the shorter one. It only gets about eight to 10 inches high and then six to 10 inches wide. But I wanted this as a border plant in my cottage garden. So I got two flats of this, which should be able to stretch quite a ways. Okay, and then next I got several wave petunias because you cannot go wrong with wave petunias. And I got this for one sole purpose is to plant up my fountain. Now, if you didn't see this video that I did last year, I did a video of getting my fountain up and running and I love my fountain. Love the sound of it when the water kind of gently spills over the side. I love it. However, it's not level anymore. When we had it installed, it was nice and level and gorgeous. Um, but over the last six years, it's kind of sunk in, so it's not level, and all the water spills to one side and then splashes out. It would take a lot to get a fountain of that size re-leveled. Um, I'd probably have to bring in some sand and gravel to put it on as a foundation, and that's just not something I want to do right now. So I'm actually going to be planting up the fountain with wave petunias, which I think will be beautiful to have petunias gently spilling over the side instead of water. So I got lots, um, but you can see I just got a mix here. So here's some purple, darker purple. I guess I should look at the names. It just says mix, so I can't tell you exactly. This one's Rose Fusion. I love this one. And then this is just a mix of deep purple, white, and then a lighter purple. So I think that will look gorgeous over spilling over the fountain. And then I got two flats of marigolds for another sole purpose of just a border plant. So um, they are known, haven't tested it out yet, but they are known to be deer resistant. So I'm gonna put this on the border of my garden to kind of help deter deer and also other bugs. I know they help with, um, aphids I think and some other bugs that you just don't want in your garden. So two flats of this for border plants around my garden, specifically my veggie garden. Okay, I want to move over to the shade plants and I'll show you which I got. 
Okay, I have these here on the north side of the house. This isn't actually where these shade plants are going. Um, if you missed the video, I'll post it down below, but this whole bed here is already a shade bed. So it's full of hostas, astilbes, bleeding hearts, all sorts of good stuff. And I just put these plants here. Um, they're spaced apart because right in between there is where I have hostas coming up already. But just until I get this shade bed up and going, I'm thinking of putting it around the bottom of an oak tree. I have a big oak tree, so that's where I'm going. But I just want to go through and go through the, the variety. So mostly hostas, as you can see, I have a couple hookahs, um, a bleeding heart, which look at that. So beautiful. Look at those little bleeding hearts. My kids are out here too, so if you hear laughing in the background, it's just them. Hi! Okay, so I'm just going to start with this. This is a Hosta So Sweet. This is Hosta So Sweet, and it just, you can see, it has this lovely deep green inner leaf and kind of more of a... Oops. More of a chartreuse green on the outside, so I got... I am trying to speak, mister. That's our rooster. His name is Hotshot. <laughs> so I got two of these. And then I have a bleeding heart here. It doesn't, I don't know if that says the name of it or not, but that's a bleeding heart. And then this hosta here is very similar in a sense to the first one, except it's reversed. So you see, so you see this new one, the lighter leaf is on the inside with the dark green on the outside, or is this one was dark on the inside and a chartreuse green on the in outside. So completely reversed. And I don't see, oh yeah, there is a name. This one is Forbidden Fruit Hosta. So that's beautiful. And then I got two, they're more of a blue hosta, blue green. This is a, I can't see what that says. Halicyon, Halicyon, I don't know if that's the name or not. Anyway, so it's, I think it'll look beautiful contrast with the blue up against the other colors. And then these two right here, I'm super excited about. They are the drinking gourds and super excited because they actually form like little cups like this and the water collects in them and i just thought that was so cool i could take a little drink out of the leaf it makes this little drinking gourd i loved that more of a um, deeper green not quite as blue green as whatever this one was um but definitely a darker green and then i have some hookahs what name is this? The Black Pearl by Proven Winners. And I just got that, that dark, um, I call it black, but that dark kind of purpley color looks so good up against the green of all the hostas, just uh, something different. And then I have two Empress, no, huh. I could have swore I got Empress Wu. Did I not? I guess I didn't. I guess uh, I got Diamond Lake, Shadowland Diamond Lake Hosta, which is a beautiful, um, more of like a bluish green. So I think they just look so beautiful all together and I'm super excited to put these all into a shade loving bed and I want to get some Astilbees and then maybe another brand or color of Hookra and Virginia. I think some Virginia would look beautiful. Okay, moved up onto my deck, um, but there's a few other things that I got as well. They're inside, um, but I want to talk about them. I got a Tumbling Tom tomato specifically because I wanted something on my back deck. You, they're known for hanging baskets or containers, but I like to put them in hanging baskets and I just want to have them hanging from my back deck. So if I want some tomatoes for a salad or for my 
meal. I can just walk onto the back deck, pick a few tomatoes, walk back in, and that way I don't have to go all the way out to my garden, which isn't a big deal as well, but sometimes you just want something fast and so easy instead of taking a hike. I also got two um, hen and chicks, and I can't remember the name, gold something. Anyways, I'm used to normal hen and chicks that are just the normal green, and I saw these. My kids loved them, loved them. They're kind of a golden color, and then the tips are like this bright fluorescent pink, um, orangey pink. I'm not entirely sure. So definitely out there, definitely bright, not necessarily something I always go for in the garden, but they loved it. I saw, I thought they were pretty awesome. Um, I have some bright Asiatic lilies that I think would go well with those. So I plan on doing that as well. And then I also got two geraniums. Now I'm not a fan of red in the garden but I have some canna lilies that I planted and they needed something to go with those. So I got some red geraniums to go on the planter and they are, they're a beautiful color red. That's not nothing against red, but they are, they are beautiful and my husband loves them. So that's good too. It's good when you both like something, but that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the plants that I got. I'm super excited. So please join the family and stay tuned to see when I get these planted in either containers or most of them will be going in the landscape as well. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.